DJ more the very best reviews. Tell them none can contest. We gon' sh- What's up? What's good, everybody? Welcome to the show. My first reaction for episode six, uh, Snowfall, the final season. Another dope, excellent episode. Very sad episode that we see now the aftermath of what happened with Unk and how they dealing with all of that and coming to grips with that, the funeral and it looked like it's so many things coming together and I hate to say it, but my prediction is looking more and more like it's going to come true, which is that I said, nobody's going to get out alive out of the main characters. I don't think any of these people are going to live it's not looking too good. And the way they all are kind of doubling down on getting ready to go to war and things, I don't know, man. Uh, I, I don't know. I think even Sissy going down. I thought she might live, but she, I think she ready to die. She didn't say, hey, Wanda, you could take over for me. I ain't even in it no more. She say, what you going to do? She ain't even had nothing to say because she knows she out of here. So I don't think, I think Wanda will live. And uh, <laughs> that's about it out of a lot of them, you know. So uh, no neck Johnson might live. He said, hey, man, you, you all killed him to did that to, to, to Jerome. I. <laughs> so I don't know, man. Reggie M. I love when uh, when Louis said that as well, uh, when she met up with uh, Teddy and she was saying he want Franklin. And she was saying basically that, uh, yeah, when I get a chance, I'm going to get them to you. But after this funeral, and I'll cut them from nuts, neck, neck to nuts if that's what need be. Damn. So Louie ain't playing. But at the funeral, she did ask him why he came back. And that's one thing she got to keep in mind. She'd be dead instead of Jerome right now if he didn't come back. So. But she heard it right now, and the only way to feel better is to take out Franklin. And she see him as the devil, and he said, you're damn right. He embracing it now, so it's on, man. It's on. And uh, a lot to talk about this episode. Great episode, man. Uh, I'm starting to say... And you all let me know in the ratings, what would you think is the better show? Power, OG Power, or Snowfall? I'm going to go with Snowfall, man, because they have been solid, rock solid, all six seasons. It was a time when they was in their third season and I was saying how it was better, but they still got time to go and power was rock solid. Um, you put an S or a P or as you write snowfall or power in the comments, which one you think is better. And it's not a knock on either show, you know, but snowfall, man, this is a really good show. The bad thing about this show to me is that it's on FX, it has commercials, which means that you get only about a 44-minute show. And because of the station it's on, it could have been a little bit more graphic had it been on another station. But they have shown that you don't need so much graphic content on the screen to still produce a great show. I mean, it's not, you know bubble gum so they do have some graphic content but it's not a hbo showtime production but nevertheless snowfall man and of course i'm talking about og power book two and that's that that come on but <laughs> snowfall man this is a good show and it's a close it's close but power towards the end wasn't as strong as the beginning to me the first season in my opinion so let me see what some of y'all say and uh you know he's ill wood said that fifth season was blah for power yeah i i yeah power had some some moments so you know uh 
Louisiana boy says snowfall. What's up, Gina? How you doing, sis? Uh, you know, Eric Iverson says power too easy. Wow. E. I said it's too easy for power. Snowfall by far. We got snowfall, power, snowfall, power, snowfall. So it's about a half and half so far what I'm seeing. And I agree, Mr. Bear Facts. It's graphic enough. I agree. And that's what I'm saying. It shows you don't have to have gratuitous graphic stuff on the screen, whether it be sex or, you know, blood or blowing up people and stuff for a good show. You know, Raising Canaan is a very good show, but I won't say it's better than Snowfall just yet because it's only, what, two seasons? But it's on the way to being just as good. I'll give you that. Raising Canaan is a good show. Um, it's a real good show. Yep. So uh, this episode, man, damn, man. Okay, Snowfall season five was kind of last season. They did kind of stretch it out a little bit. It was cool. It wasn't bad. But, yeah, okay, it had a few... Law like that uh wedding episode that was just a long wedding episode so yeah they could have did that or whatever so you know shorten that you know no snow show is perfect don't get me wrong uh t man lee said what up bro they just announced the spinoff of snowfall let's go see if they posted it on deadline all right that's what's up all right, they are two different type of shows, though, definitely. All right, so that tiger in the last season. But they say that was based off of something somebody had or something. I don't know, but they didn't just make that up. Somebody in the hood had, like, a wild tiger or something in the day. I don't know. That's what I had looked up and saw because I was like, that was crazy. But anyway... Uh, you say Gail Bean is starring starring in uh the spinoff? Okay. Um, so this episode was really good, and one of the things that I liked about how this episode kicked off is we see the aftermath like immediately. Um, Louie coming home battered, bruised, and she just still numb because she doesn't even realize how bad she was looking. Until she saw that big ass K in the mirror. And uh, I mean, that had to be devastating. And, you know, Jerome is dead. They went and took him to a funeral home where they was able to pay under the table to have a funeral service. Hey, I mean, you know, that was a way for them to do it to avoid the cops and have a funeral and all that. I mean, in a way, that was kind of low key tight. He was able to pull that off. Um, also kind of unfortunate for Jerome. He kind of had to go through all this stuff kind of the way he did. But, um, you know, it's just sad, man, how it went out. He died for for Louie. I wish that my pictures, uh, I wish that my pictures had my, uh, would load up. Um, Gina, Louie screaming from Jerome really hurt my feeling. This was really emotional. Um, it was sad seeing when she came home and she looked at that wedding picture and all their little wedding gifts and stuff. And you see that big frame wedding picture with them together. And now he dead. They just started and everything. And he was just telling her none of this stuff was worth it. Now she realizing how right he was because now she don't care about none of this stuff without him. You know, and so sometimes we get caught up in all the wrong things and not realizing what's really important. And all that money and house and cars, she got a dope house and rolling in the dope bins. That was the top of the line. Best Mercedes you can get at the time. One of the best cars you could drive at the time. And that house is fire even today. <laughs> so, I mean, but without that special someone, it, it ain't nothing. And so uh, she miserable. She ready to die. We saw what she did when she pulled up on Scully. Shoot me. Shoot me. What? Shoot me. What? What? <laughs> she was ready. Pulled up on the curb. Everything. 
Um, so, you know, Scully had to tell her, man, them wives, I'd be wanting to go down there and burn it all down, cuz, but they won't let me. They say no. The vibes, it be bad vibes, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to do that. <laughs> so she went and talked to Scully, but that was sad, man. They didn't, they, all of them have lost so much. They even lost his, his girl and his daughter. <sighs> That's devastating, man. And uh, she like, how you going on and things. And, and so, you know, she was, she was really trying to, trying to make it but you know it it, is looking hard and i don't think she gonna pull through uh in the end man i think she on suicide mission kamikaze style and uh speaking of kamikaze style we see for for the most part that's what teddy basically been doing because he didn't stole franklin's money nobody asked him to do it he making this up ambitious on his own. And we see his baby mama comes and he meets with her. She pregnant. She done got knocked up. She got knocked up. The baby gonna come out. His baby gonna come out. She knocked up. So she come knocked up. He like, okay. When that happened? She like, when that happened? Okay. Uh, So they know each other with the woman that he's with now he used to work with her as an operative and now they together and so she basically told him man you tripping give the money back be done with this but he ain't giving that money back 70 plus million whoo you know i don't think he about to get that money back which is gonna be you know pretty sad because it's bringing everybody, it's bringing him down. You know, it's causing all this unnecessary heat. It's gotten his father killed. Um, Franklin ain't going to be able to get his kid and no girl. I really doubt that. Um, but I do think that Teddy, that woman that he's with, I think she going to double cross him or something, man. I don't really trust her. <clears throat> And she talking about uh, the money. Well, you have to give me half of the money if you're going to say it's our money. Otherwise, you keep it. It's all your money, Teddy. I give you the key to my lock. I suggest you use it. Give me the money and I'll be yours. Oh, yes, Teddy. She about to get his ass. <laughs> she about to get a little Teddy Graham. And uh, I don't trust her, man. She already was some type of operative. Uh, and so she probably be like, uh, I was just doing this to get some payback for my people. (laughs) Who knows what the hell happened? But, uh, you know, I definitely don't trust her ass. She didn't put that little thing thing on Teddy and made a thing melt. And he ready to drop 73 million. He a damn fool, you know? And, uh, I don't know, man. I think also that frank i mean teddy he didn't made it too personal now you know and got involved with all this stuff i think he's jealous of franklin because franklin had so much money and he didn't because basically he was working for the government so he helping to do this and that and let him have the money but he didn't get any money and he liked this little punk drug dealer kid doing this and that and getting rich while I'm this way and that way and I'm going through what I'm going through, I'll take it. This is the government's money. So he thinks that he has the moral high ground on why he did what he did, which then plus his father being killed by Franklin. Uh, Franklin, uh, I said it before, he ain't never getting that money back. Never getting that money back. So, and, uh, you know, he asked Leon for half a million I think that's so he can give the money to Oso. Uh, so Oso can be able to to bounce and they won't set Teddy up. Because we saw in the clip for the next episode, Franklin was tied up. But remember, he said we got to make it look like to, to Teddy that he's the one that set me up. So I'm thinking that when we see him tied up, 
that is the setup. And I don't think they're going to kill Teddy right then, but I think that might be part of the setup of trying to get Teddy. So, but, you know, we'll see. Uh, we see Sissy. Damn, man, that was a hard scene when uh, Franklin came home and uh, we saw that, uh, you know, Wanda asked about Leon. And then, you know, she asked about Jerome. Damn, man, she didn't lost her husband and her brother. All she got left was her son. She didn't went there to go talk to Louis. And Louis like, yeah, well, you still got stuff you care about. That's nice. I don't. I done lost my husband, my everything. She like, well, I lost my husband too. And... Uh, I just got a notification on something. Hold on. But, uh, oh, okay. That's from, all right, Ill Woods. Appreciate it. Sent the little, uh, notification about, uh, the Snowfall spinoff. Appreciate it on, uh, Instagram. So, yeah, uh, I'll talk about that in a second. So, um, but yeah, man, she didn't lost everything. And, I don't think her talk with Louis is going to work. I mean, we already know it ain't because she already said she going to cut Franklin from neck to nuts. Okay. Y'all let me know because I think that she should let that go with Franklin. Am I wrong? Should Louis let it go to beef with Franklin? Put a one F if she should let that go. Put a two F if she shouldn't let it go. I'll explain why I think she should let it go. Because he came back for her. If he didn't, she'd be dead. And Jerome would be alive. And Jerome didn't have to die because dude said, Cain said, let's get up out of here. But, you know, I don't think she taking her responsibility for what she did. Because when she was talking to Sissy, she was saying everything Franklin fault. And I'm more on Sissy's side that everybody hands is dirty. You see what I'm saying? I don't think nobody can say they didn't have to do their part to a certain degree. You know, yeah, sissy ain't have as much to do with what the problem is now as, you know, others. But she's playing her part, too. She didn't involve herself. Plus, she got the KGB involved, which is causing a whole nother problem. If she didn't bring the KGB into it then maybe also and some other things wouldn't be happening that's putting more pressure on Franklin. So, you know, I think everybody done put in they all fair share. You know what I'm saying? Black Pride said, man, we don't want no damn wine to show. The only way I think that might be good is if Leon lives and it's a Leon slash wine to show. But uh, seeing her run the the mess hall or the the, the shelter, I don't know how that's gonna work. So, and then what? What they gonna make her be back on drugs? Make her be the queen pin or something? So I don't know. Uh, with a good show, you gotta have drama and things and 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 things for them to go through and and overcome. So I don't know uh how how that would work with her show i'd have to read more about that um reggie i agree he did come back more for jerome than louis because he couldn't probably you know look at his uncle and know he let them rape her and do all that and he could have did more about that so i get it and then he did tell her uh at the time that uh you know i was raised to respect women and i couldn't live with myself knowing that i left you there it, got raped and all of that pretty much so you know that was beyond what he was trying to get involved with what up gina that's my girl gina don't play she said i would have taken louie out if i was sissy and you know what that's what she should have did i agree with you a hundred percent she should have took her out and that's the only way she could have ended everything right there because with louie still alive she going to still want to get some revenge, still want to blame Franklin and keep this going. And uh, I agree with you as well, Ill Woods, that she do have some accountability issues because she is not taking 
responsibility for what she did. And if she didn't go behind Franklin back with Teddy, which she now is mad at Teddy, but it's your fault for doing that. You know, but that started the chain reaction. She's right. She didn't know that Teddy was still Franklin's money, which that really caused a big problem. The war between them, because now Franklin didn't know if she had something to do with that or not, or because they was with them. Teddy looked at him as expendable, which is kind of what happened, because now that they was there, Teddy looked at him as expendable. Plus, he said he didn't want to get in it no more. So Teddy like, OK, well, I'm going to take the money then and get you, you know, what I'm saying take you out. You thought you was going to get rich and get away free. No. Nah, so Teddy, you know. I think he got some accountability issues as well because, you know, he ain't taking the responsibility for the monsters that he created. And now that they coming back to bite you, you know what I'm saying? Bite the hand that feeds you. Now you upset and you want to say all these other things and do all this stuff. And I don't know, man. I think Teddy, I don't see Teddy living either. You know, I actually think, that the CIA is going to kill Teddy. Remember I said that. That dude, Teddy's handler, he going to kill Teddy. Because when he was talking to his boss about all the problems that's going on, and Teddy, he like, well, I like Teddy, but, you know, he getting ambitious. We could use the money or this or that. He going to get that money from Teddy. He's going to get that money from Teddy and then have Teddy killed. Yep, they're going to have Teddy killed. That way, it avoid all the stuff with the KGB, putting him on the news and all this stuff, because Teddy will be dead, you know, which means, you know, dead man tell no tales. And they'll just wash him like, you know, he was a rogue agent, had nothing to do with us for years, and, you know, whatever the case. Now, Lisa say Gustavo going to kill Teddy. I think he want to kill him, but I think don't trip. I said it is saying she's on the same page as me. Dude told him, fill in those holes. I don't want to know about it. Fill in the holes. That's how you fill in them holes with a bullet. A bullet plugs holes. Creates one, but it stops it up too. And I think that that's why I say he's going to kill Teddy because he got to plug them holes and fill up all the little mess that's been made. And, you know, killing them is the easiest way. Plus, everybody else, Teddy will have his guard up. Teddy won't have his guard up with them, with dude. And that's what's going to happen, I think. That's how Teddy's going to be taken out. So, you know. I'm sure Gustavo want to kill him as well as Franklin. They not going Franklin not going to get a chance to kill him because if Franklin kills him, he'll go to jail because Teddy is watched by the DEA. And well, the KGB ain't gonna put Franklin in jail for killing him, but uh, you know, they they definitely he could, he'd have to kill Teddy where nobody would know, which is gonna be more difficult for him. Teddy is hot like lava right now. You saw he was in another place with old girl, a rental. He ain't got no food in the fridge. It wasn't no DoorDash back then. They was up in there hungry. You know what I'm saying? So he on the run, but he got 70 something million. So he going to figure something out. Um, one thing also that we saw is, uh, what was I going to say? Uh, oh, Man, why Leon don't want to lead the projects, man? Man, I get it, man. I had that similar mentality. I never lived in the projects, first of all. I'm not going to say I lived in the projects. But I will say that I had the mentality of your neighborhood, and you like your neighborhood or the hood that you grew up in, and you don't want to leave or you don't think, you know, whatever the case. And so, you know... um, I think that's the same type of mentality that he's having, that he don't want to leave his hood. That's the spot, the crib, 
he's comfortable this and that he got way too much money to be sitting in there he's just he has too much going on and it's always smart that you don't live at the trap you get you another spot like even franklin wasn't living at the track he got him a better spot and you can go there like it's a job or something like leon should have had another spot where him and his woman could be safe and less ray they head at night and then he can go and check in at the PJs or whatever. But Wanda, she about to move out. And I don't blame her because if she stay there with him, she going to turn back to smoking or get smoked. She didn't already got shot. You know, she didn't got her hair done trying to look cute. And here come this fool. So, you know, I definitely don't think uh, he he is really realizing how close he is to death. Because any of them could have died up in there. It just turned out to be Jerome. But anybody could have got shot. And he was living good in Ghana. They didn't got married. He didn't start it over. Had money. And this dude came back to the projects, man. Uh, he want to be some old project dope dealer community organizer. Like, man, you are tripping, Leon. Trip and talking about man, I just need to get a few things in order, and I can hand the PJs over to the next man. Man, get your ass out of there immediately! Immediately, you know he should. have I agree with you, Gina. He should have never took her back there. Never took her back there. I would have never put my woman in that situation again. Never. He did way too much for her to put her right back in that same situation. That was crazy. So. Hey, uh, I I saw his name on the credits. So for those that don't know, Uncle Clifford is Nico Anon. And so when I was just watching this episode at the end, his name was on the credits. I'm like, what? Where the hell was he? So you saying that he was at Uncle Jerome's funeral. I figured that's where he had to be. I also saw Chris Lofton there, who I was thinking, what is he doing there? But then I remembered that uh, he was her cousin down south so that's why chris lofton was there but uh i gotta go back and look at that uh uncle clifford because i sure didn't see him i'm pretty sure he wasn't dressed like he is at the paint though but uh i didn't see uncle clifford i'm gonna have to check that out oh i'm trying to get this snowfall ready but uh yeah uncle cliffy poo <laughs> jerome he used to get it popping at the pink. Let's get it up there for Rome and Rome. <laughs> uh, don't trip. I saw him sitting behind Louie. I'm going to have to look at that. I missed it. I definitely missed that. Uh, he wasn't wearing his fighting clothes. You know what I'm saying? His, his uh, war outfit. <laughs> this damn thing is not. All right. So, you know, but I'm going to have to double check that because I, I just saw his name at the end. I was like, Uncle Clifford was in this. So, yeah. But uh, back to this last few things about this episode. Um, Gustavo. He wake up with the KGB at his living room table with the gun. Now this woman like, uh, I think it's over. <laughs> I think we should do our own thing, and I don't think you should know where the hell I'm at either. So that's messed up. Now Gustavo don't got no main squeeze. This damn phone. Keep messing up. Anyway, I'm trying to do too many things at once, man. I wish this would load up faster. I used to have it load up faster. <sighs> anyway, um, I definitely got to see that Cliffy poop. Now, um, one thing about Gustavo is that he told Franklin that the DA DEA is on him and that they've been watching him and that the KGB and everybody wants uh, Teddy. And so here's the thing, though. If Franklin, see, Franklin, they want to either kill Teddy or have him arrested. Well, they want him arrested because Franklin asked, are they going to kill him? But Franklin want his money. <laughs> 
So if they arrest him or kill him, that's bad for Franklin either way. And the reason why is because he won't be able to get his hands on him to get that information to torture him or interrogate him or whatever it is he want to do to him to get the money. So that's why I think Franklin is going to try to work out something with Gustavo so that he could possibly get his hands on Teddy first because he still think he got a shot at getting that money, which I'm pretty sure we all know he ain't getting that money back. I think Teddy would rather die than give him that money back. So, yeah, Franklin is screwed. Speaking of Franklin being screwed, <laughs> we see that all of this is starting to take its toll on him because when he was asleep with V, he had a severe panic attack, woke up, ready to grab the gun, severe chest tightness, couldn't breathe. And we later see that, you know, for those that may have recognized the signs, he was having a panic attack. And so, uh, He's under a lot of stress. He probably was having visions or things about Jerome getting killed, the shootouts, all the stuff that he's been through, and uh, just for this money. So, you know, you got to be careful for the for the, the almighty dollar because some of these things you may end up doing, it's not worth it. You lose yourself. You lose your soul in the process. And it seems that uh, Franklin definitely has lost more than just that 70 million, which is a lot. And also keep in mind, $70 million in the 80s could be equal to like easily 150 to $200 million in buying power today. So, you know, just to equate that, even $70 million today is a lot of money. So just to think back then, that's like you're trying to give him a quarter billion, $200 million. Dude, uh, Teddy ain't giving him that. Teddy is not giving him that one journey. What's up, one journey? Ain't seen you in a while. You said evil Teddy, the thief. <laughs> what you call him? Friendly evil? Friendly evil? So, you know, definitely uh, Teddy got him. Um, one other thing about this episode, man, that was good is that they had the funeral. Um, it was pretty cool to see everybody come together. To be honest with y'all, I thought that we was going to see some type of shootout or something at the funeral. Um, it went a lot smoother than I thought it was going to go. And uh, I thought this episode was going to go a little longer, too, because one thing about this season, they have had the episodes longer so i'll give them credit for that which i was surprised in a good way when uh the few of these episodes i was like man it's still going and it'll go maybe 15 minutes over which is basically giving you your full hour so i do like that they have given more this episode uh this season and i thought this episode was gonna have a little bit more too when he was talking with oso and said meet me at the repass I got some some more info to tell you to make this work. So I'm thinking, you know, uh, it's still more to come. But the episode was pretty much wrapped up. And uh, he went and talked with Louie. And that's when they kind of had that discussion. And he still needs something from her. That's what I wanted to add. What, what promise did she make him? I couldn't remember. What, is she going to kill him? That ain't it. What promise did she make him in the warehouse where he's like, you made me a promise? Um, what what promise was that? Because it's been, I have to rewatch it. It's been a lot going on. But uh, what promise? Y'all let me know in the comments. Renee Thompson. What's up, Renee? How you doing? Uh, she says, Franklin should have killed Louie right after Jerome was killed. There's no need for Louie to still be alive. You know what, Renee? You right. You right. He might as well have killed her because all she going to want to do is get revenge, which is what's happening. And he could have ended it all right then, that chapter. It would have been horrible. 
He would really have a hard time sleeping. He having a hard time now. Your uncle and you got it. You killed his wife and all the stuff. I mean, it's piling up, but that's the game they chose. That's why most of us don't get into this stuff because it's, it's one of the hardest jobs in the world. Uh, so, you know, anybody that ever said selling drugs is the easy way out, don't know what the hell they talking about. So, okay, my girl Gina. Gina got that memory, man. I thought I had a good memory. She said she, Gina says that Louie said the promise was she would give him Teddy. Okay, don't trip as well. Okay. Uh, and also J Money Go 8. All right. A few of y'all remember. <laughs> I'm the only one they remember. I got too much going on lately. Uh, and I really do. But I'm getting close to getting things settled down. And then I'll be able to produce more and things. So it's, it's getting there. It's getting there. And while I'm thinking about it, all my Discord family members, what's up? Uh, let me know what, what day. We're going to watch this avatar for movie night. Uh, let me know in the Discord. All right. Um, so, One Journey says, Louie lusting for power. No one looks at me. They look at you. Yep. She was jealous. She wanted that power and people to look at her as the man or the woman, as the boss. And they end up getting Jerome killed over it. Jerome ain't give a damn. He wasn't trying to get people to look up to him. It wasn't like that was what he wanted. It just was just happening. So she got jealous, didn't want to get out, pushed everything to the limit. And now that the levees done broke, she ready to blame everybody else but herself. And that's the problem I got with Louie. I'm not a I'm not against Louis. As much as I am, let's say, Tasha St. Patrick. But the problem I have with Louie is she not being real. She not being r- realistic. She has accountability issues. And uh, I am a real grounded person. So I try to stay that way and be realistic with things and just, you know, it is what it is. You got to accept it. A lot of people may not be that way. Some people are delusional or make up excuses or don't want to believe it and all kind of things that go on. And I think that's what she's doing. And that's why the problems keep continuing. Because if you don't recognize the problem, how can you address it? If you don't see that you have an issue, how can you fix it? And so that's the problem. She is not addressing where she had a role to play in all of this. And she's going to continue this same problem because she still got the same energy. She not listening to anybody, not even Sissy, who's lost more than her to a certain respect. She still got her son. But if Louis lives, she could still, can she have kids? I don't know if they ever said she could have kids or not. Maybe not. I don't know. But she still has life left. She's still a relatively young woman. So we'll see. Uh, we said uh, we got, uh, let me see if I get this name right. You must be from Hawaii. Let's say Konoea. Konoea. Williams, let me know if I got that right. Konoweya Williams, and let me know if you're from Hawaii or the name is <laughs> Sissy is going to kill Louie because she will protect her son. I agree, and I believe Gina, I think, said that earlier as well, and I get it. Okay, he said no, so I guess I'm wrong. You ain't from Hawaii <laughs> or the name not. The reason I say that because they got a lot of names with K's similar to that in Hawaii. Um, that I did I even say it right? <laughs> anyway, um, I think that would be a good way to end it. But then if that happens, 
because I don't think Sissy will live. I'm wondering who going to kill her. Maybe they have a shootout and kill each other, but then that would be kind of corny and unrealistic. to do that. <laughs> so I don't think they should do that. Um, I don't know. Maybe Teddy kill her. And then Franklin killed Teddy. Or maybe she don't die and I was wrong. Possible. I doubt it. <laughs> but I think Sissy ready to die too. I think she didn't gave up to a certain extent. So. Okay, you said the name is Hawaiian, but you are not. Okay, I got you. I got you. I figured maybe the name at least. But uh, okay. All right, I was I was fifty percent. <laughs> yeah, but uh, you know, look, one journey says Louis kicked drugs, then sold drugs, and Wanda will kick drugs to but help others. Yeah, that's true. La Louis, she didn't she didn't been through some things, man. Louie done been through some things, but looking at Louie, I just felt bad for her, man. She had this big ass K on her, cut all up, bruised all up. She been through some stuff. I mean, in a way, I can't say it's like, you know, she just didn't put herself in some of this, but, you know, she shouldn't have did what she did to Kane with Buckley. You know, she didn't have to do that. So Louie put herself in a lot of this stuff. And when it came back to bite her, it bit hard. And now she wants revenge, you know. But a lot of people look at life that way and don't look at their part in things and then want to blame others or say these people or those people did this or brought that up and don't realize this that it's you not getting your stuff together or doing what you're supposed to do or making these moves that are now backfiring. So, you know, and you, yeah, Ashley, you're right. Ashley Gambrell, that's the same way Jerome and Kane died to shoot out with way. Exactly. So they can't do that again. That's already been done once. It's already was corny, but I let it slide because of the emotional aspect but that is some TV mumbo jumbo. No. But they pulled it off to a degree. They can't do it again, though. They can't do that again. All right. Uh, Konoeya said Louie will die the next episode. I don't think she going to die that soon. It's only the seventh episode. I think Louie will at least make it to the eighth. And then that'll give us two more to finish out the show. I think she actually could make it to the ninth. I think Louie, Franklin, and Teddy could be the last one standing in the last episode. And they go down their respective ways. But, uh... I think Louie at least is going to make it to eight. So she'll be all right one more episode. She'll be all right one more episode. After that, she in trouble. You know. Uh, you said, Konoeya says she'll kidnap Franklin and she will get killed in the end. Okay. Um, I don't think that she will be part of that kidnap plot. I think that's something with him and Oso. And she might mess it up or get involved some way, but that picture we saw of him duct tape on the floor, uh, I think that's got to do with him and Oso. You know, so. All right, let me see if some of these, these dang on pictures still ain't upload. All right. Well, it's about time for the Moscow rating. And uh, I'm going to break on down what I would rate this episode. And I've been working in the studio on that beat right there. That's Beats by the Fine, baby. <laughs> 
All right, the most go is my little rating system. Four simple categories, 25 points each, give you a total of 100. Always drop a decimal point, get a score of 1 to 10. So let's see the visual cinematography. They use top-notch cameras, but they do make the show look like it's from the 80s on purpose, which is fine. Um, they did do some good visuals of seeing Louis when she saw herself in the reflection or Jerome when Sissy was there and saw him and Franklin try to put his arm around. Different things they did with the cameras and scenes to help bring the gravity of what's going on closer to home. Some of the close-ups, the funeral. I liked the episode. It wasn't nothing amazing, but they did a good job with it. So I'm going to give them a 20 out of 25 storyline and the plot for this episode was good i like to see immediately the reaction of what happened and we got to see how they're going to deal with jerome's body at least and uh so we, the cops aren't all over the place and they explained a lot of more things we see also in more trouble with the cia and everything and teddy and all this stuff going on with the money so overall, I think it's a good episode. And we also got to see that this is weighing heavy on Franklin um, at night. It's not that he's just a calm, cool, collected person always, that it is getting to him. So I'm going to give this uh, storyline a 22 for this episode. It was better than average. Not the greatest, but very good. Special effect, makeup, costumes. This isn't a very big special effect show. The makeup costumes are good for the time period, but they don't wear anything like power where they have nothing but the, the latest or the greatest fashion. So with that respect, I'm going to give it a 20 because it's not the worst and it's fitting the period, but it's nothing to write home about. And last but not least, the most important category, entertaining and the fun factor was it entertaining did you have a good time and it was entertaining i enjoyed this episode a lot i really like this season and this show is better than last season so far that's for sure and uh i'm gonna give it a 23 out of 25 which would give it a total of a 85 out of 100 all right now not having special effects and things will hurt a show like this but i always give a 0.5 margin of discretion so if you think that this episode was a 90 uh or a 9 out of 10 a case can be made for that and if you think it was an 8 out of 10 a case could be made for that um overall i think that at 85 is about right. It was really good. Um, it wasn't the greatest, but it was good. I enjoyed it. I don't really have any complaints. Um, and I think it was pretty good. Uh, I see right here, Dar228 says, Buckley lied right in front of Louis' face when she asked if Jerome paged him. That right there, I peeped that. That was, that was a good point right there. Uh, I think she don't believe him when he said, sorry for your loss. Remember, he was getting high smoking crack in the car, which Jerome kept telling him to stay off that stuff. And he was in there getting high smoking crack. And Jerome paged him. Like she said, he ain't paid you. He ain't called for your gun. Yeah, he did. Now, if Buckley was there, would it have made a difference? Maybe not. But where was you? That's your job. So that was messed up. And, uh, you know, I think uh, I think Buckley ain't going to make it. I think he going down, too. I think she going to go scorched earth and uh, get rid of everybody. So I think Scully might live. <laughs> Out of all the people, Scully might live. Community pay go. I see you wearing Chicago Bulls cap. Lakers beat the Bulls tonight. Got their revenge for losing to them at crypto the other day. Yeah. Bulls ain't doing what they supposed to lately. But neither has the Lakers. So we had our good run last year. 
Lonzo Ball. Don't even let me get started on him, man. This is just a big Band-Aid. So I wish I was able to get paid millions and not even play. <laughs> anyway, overall, this episode was good. I enjoyed it. What would you rate this episode? Put a hashtag Mosco and put your rating. What would you rate it? I'm interested to see what you guys would rate this episode. And overall, so far, since we now are just now past the halfway mark, what would you rate this season of Snowfall so far? Um, I think I would give this season of Snowfall, I would give it about between an eight and a half and a nine right now for Snowfall this season. An eight and a half to a nine. And uh and that's that's very good. It's not too easy to to get a nine, you know, eight and a half. That's that's very much above average. So uh this episode was good. I think next episode will be a nine or a ten, but this had to do the little build up for the next episode. So that it all makes sense. One of the things I always say, you got to make it make sense. So they making it make sense this season. And that's that's what's up. I'm getting ready to wrap this up. Y'all let me know what you would rate this episode. Uh, I'm interested to see your comments and what you thought about it. And, uh, you know, I don't know. Who do you think is dying next episode? Um. Yeah, what if Leon is dead next episode? That would be something that nobody expected. I don't think Leon gonna get out alive. I mean, Wanda keep telling him leave, 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 and he ain't doing it. So I mean, it's already about to be Leon is gonna die, and then we'll all be like, man, he should have left when he had the chance. <laughs> so I think Leon might go next episode. Which would be sad because he should have never went back to the PJs, man. He should have never got back into that. And he didn't beat up No Neck Johnson for nothing. Damn. No Neck going to come back and get his his turf and make that money. So, I don't know, man. It ain't looking good for Lee. What do y'all think? Who going to be the next to go? Um, We'll see. Got got an eight from Pago, eight from T Fam, Reggie eight and a half. I think Leon likes the power as well. I think he liked that control. Man, the Sixers, man. James Harden don't play defense, man. Y'all ain't gonna win in the playoffs with James Harden. James Harden cannot play defense. Sorry. <laughs> Community Pago said Wanda or Leon will die. Well, we know Wanda ain't going to die. It's a spinoff. Unless it's supposed to be Wanda the crackhead years or something. <laughs> so we know Wanda ain't going to die. But I've always said I didn't think she was going to die. Um, so I think Leon is going to die. So it ain't looking good for Lee right now, man. And he's the only person trying to do good. Trying to, he, Gita, he the only one trying to do right, trying to do good, trying to help, want to stay there with Louie. Damn. I will say he keep them damn braids fresh to death, though, don't he? Them damn doo-doo braids, boy. That was good. J Money Go Ape. Harden can defend. He just don't embrace it, LOL. Which mean he don't do it. <laughs> Hey. Reggie say Aunt Louie and Oso die next. I think Oso may die next episode. I'm going to say Louie for episode eight. At least. Oso and uh, what you call it can go. I think they days is numbered. They 11s are up. They 11s are up. <laughs> so, you know, it ain't looking too good. All right, y'all. I got this damn thing over here. 
get ready to wrap this up. I appreciate everybody for coming through, watching, supporting the channel. And uh, we'll see what happens. This is the next episode. I'm definitely looking forward to it. Snowfall, they they wrapping this thing up real good, and I, I like it. So I'm about to go rewatch this and see if I see Uncle Clifford in the uh, audience. <laughs> All right, y'all. Deuces. I'm out. Peace.